What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the six different ways that the Google Pixel Fold is going to be better versus the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now, I want to admit, I did record this video like a few hours back and some new information come out. So I was actually able to add an additional one to make it six. So without further ado, let's get into this list. Now, the first one is all about the displays on the Google Pixel Fold. It's gonna be better in a couple of ways. The first way is one of my pain points about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is this outside display. It's too tall, it's too skinny, and it's not very usable in a lot of ways. It's not, I, I hate it, to be honest with you. I don't ever use it, and I don't wanna use it because it's not a, a good experience. But the Pixel Fold is going to fix that issue because they are gonna be coming out with their outside display will be 5.8 inches, so it'll be shorter, but then it's also gonna be wider as well, giving you a better experience on that folding phone. And it's gonna look more like this phone, the Oppo Find N2 Fold, at least the outside display will, which is, which is much more comfortable and usable in general overall. I actually like this and prefer this more than the Galaxy Z Fold for outside display. The other way is Samsung's actually giving Google Pixel their newest panel, their M13 panels, that's gonna be used on the new Pixel Fold. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is using M12 technology, so you should theoretically get a better overall quality display with the Pixel Fold, which in general is gonna be a better overall experience. Next up would be cameras. The Pixel Fold is going to have basically the same camera setup as the 7 slash 7 Pro, and those take really, really good photos, and it takes really good video. I love the microphones as well. And on the Galaxy Z Fold 4, it's not a slouch, don't get me wrong, but it's not very consistent. The Pixel is gonna be way more consistent with taking better photos and probably better videos at the same time. So if you love the Pixel experience or you've seen people that take photos with their Pixel and you love it, expect very, very similar results, if not better, with the Google Pixel Fold. The other big point about cameras is on the Z Fold 4, you have this under display camera. Now you can't really see it, but it takes awful photos anyway. You don't even wanna see it. It's like one of the worst cameras you can get on a modern flagship phone. And the camera that'll be sitting on top of that big display for Pixel will be seen and it'll be better. I supposedly something more akin to like the front camera on the Pixel 6, which I'm completely fine with, and that's much better quality with photos and videos than the one underneath the display on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. The next one is all about the pain point of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Battery life it has a 4400 milliamp battery and a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus processor, and when you factor all those things up, it doesn't get very, very good battery life. Uh, S23 Ultra, very, very very good battery life, very happy with that. Z Fold 4, not so much. I, I have to charge this multiple times a day in order to get through the day so that it doesn't die off on me. So, you know, if you want a really good experience with battery life, I'm hoping anyway, because this is a hope, that the Pixel Fold will have better battery life. It'll definitely have a bigger battery. It's supposed to have something close to 5,000 milliamps of battery on there. So hopefully with the new display and that processor they have in there, their, their, their customized processor that's basically like an Exynos processor. With all that said, hopefully we'll get some better battery life than we do with the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Next up is something that I have had problems with with the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and it is the hinge. My latest issue with the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is my front display stopped working. It was unresponsive, it would not move. So I ended up having to send it off to Samsung and they came back to me and told me that the issue was it had hinge failure and they had to replace that front display. Well, guess what? Guess what the Pixel Fold reportedly has. According to CNBC, citing internal communications, the Pixel Fold will have the most durable hinge on a foldable. So that's some pretty big information right there, to have the most durable hinge of any foldable on the market today, to actually say that. You have to be serious about it or else you can get sued for it. So that's pretty impressive. So in terms of reliability and durability with these foldable phones, the Pixel Fold is looking like it might be one of the most, if not the most, durable of them all. The last reason could be important to you, might not be, but getting the latest and newest, fastest updates 
will happen on the Pixel. So like when the next version of Android comes out, you know, 14, 15, 16, you and so on down and, and forth, the Pixel phones are generally the, some of the first phones that always get it. So if you want it and you don't wanna have to wait for your, your Galaxy phone to get it, which sometimes takes six months or three to six months, somewhere in that range in order to get the latest and greatest Android update, you won't have to wait that long with the Pixel. And you can get the beta updates uh, very, very early when they're announced. So it's a really good opportunity to try out new features and try out new things within Android. So those are my five reasons. Let me know what I what I missed or if I got something right or if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.